Hi. In this video, I'm going to give a short presentation about our recent paper, the simplified self-consistent probability method for percolation and its application to interdependent networks. Let's start with a single layer network, node percolation. Imagine a network it randomly pick a link which is labeled in red and it leads us to a node with degree 4 that means it has three other links and maybe one of them leads to the giant cluster which has infinity in size. In this case you can label the probability of finding a link that leads to a giant cluster as x so it's the case for the initial link in red. Also, x is the probability of finding the upper middle link as well. Now we can write down the self-consistent equation for x. So the probability of finding a random link leading to the giant cluster is equal to first the probability of finding a link that leads to a node with degree k multiplied by the probability that at least one of the other k-1 links lead into the giant cluster. Since we are talking about node percolation, there is a probability of p that the initial node found is still present. So we need to multiply the right-hand side by p, and that gives us the complete equation for x. With the proper definition of x, you can write down the probability of finding a random node in the giant cluster. Equivalently, this is the relative size of the giant cluster as compared to the whole network. Let's define this as mu infinity, and that equals to first the probability of finding a node with degree k, multiplied by the probability that at least one of its k links leading to the giant cluster. And finally, you need to multiply the right-hand side by p, which is the probability that the node really exists after the initial attack. Now let's look at a two-layer interdependent network. In this case, there are two layers of network A and B. And every node in A has an interdependent node in B. And when A fails, its interdependent node in B fails as well. Let's say we randomly pick a link in network A, which is labeled in red, and it leads us to a node with degree k equal to 3. So it has two other links. One of them leads to the mutually connected giant cluster. Since it's a mutually connected giant cluster, it means this giant cluster in A is interdependently linked with the giant cluster in B. And since it's an interdependent network, the first node we found in A has an interdependent node in B as well. Let's say this node in B has degree 4. It has 4 links. And let's assume that one of these links connects to the mutually giant connected cluster as well. And let's assume that one link leads to the mutually connected giant cluster with probability y and the probability of finding a random link in network A leading to the mutually giant cluster is x. So the self-consistent equation for x is simply the probability of finding a node from the link with degree k multiplied by the probability that at least one of these, the other k-1 links leading to the MCGC multiplied by the fact that this node's interdependent node in network B needs to be in the MCGC as well and that is given by the probability that at least one of its k prime links leads to the mutually giant, giant cluster and finally you need to multiply everything on the right by probability P which is a probability that the node exists after the initial attack. Symmetrically, you can write down the probability y and the probability of finding a random node in A 
that belongs to the mutually connected giant cluster. So this simple framework can be extended to other more complicated cases of interdependent networks. Thank you.